hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video we're gonna see how we can fix uh, uh blinks uh for cartoon uh, meta humans using mesh morpher and uh bone snapshots we're watching uh pixel urge uh using mesh morpher uh to fix the uh, blinks so now he is uh checking how the blinks look for uh, this custom character and uh he's uh creating now a current pose as a base so uh, he will create a corrective bone snapshot for this uh, blink expression and now he starts uh, manipulating the bones he needs to use uh, rotation translation in order to uh, manually uh, fit uh, the eyelids so the eye closes correctly right after he does this, he will load uh, this corrective bone snapshot in uh, post-process blueprint and uh, the blinks will be fixed. So this is uh, a little bit of uh, back and forth. You need to find the correct spots uh, so it looks as good as possible, right? Uh, you will not use any corrective morph target for this approach. This is only done with uh, uh, bone snapshots. And um, by the way, this is part of a uh, uh, course uh, that uh, Pixel Urge is uh, creating, which will teach us how to create this kind of character from point zero, where you get your character from uh, MetaHuman Creator, to uh, uh, point uh, 100, where you can use your final character in uh, your productions, right? So uh, we can't wait for that course uh, to go live, and uh, we uh, kind of uh, kindly asked the Pixel Urge to show us how he how he fixes uh, uh, blinks for this uh, kind of eyes. These kind of eyes are very problematic. So uh, uh, we're uh, very grateful that uh, he shared uh, this video with us, and now he's still trying to uh, fit to to make the eyelids uh, look good so he uses rotation along with translation uh, this is a personal choice you can uh, uh, do it, you can make it look the the way you want uh, or it's a ma maybe character uh, uh, based on character you know how uh, your character has the eyes for uh, but for uh, this uh, character pixel urge uh, chose uh, to create these eyes and make uh, uh, the blinks uh, work this way, right? So it's a personal choice how you you make it look in the end. So now he he's trying to uh, make it look as good as possible. It's a little bit of back and forth. Uh, there is no sculpting here. It's just uh, bone manipulation, bone transformation. And uh, you kind of have to do it uh, uh, only with bones for this kind of eyes because uh, the eyes are very huge. Using a blend shape for this kind of eye uh, will uh, break because you would have to move uh, the vertices too far away from their bones, right? So this works pretty good. Uh, I think he's getting close. I think he's done with uh, creating the blink corrective and now he's saving the uh, uh, bone snapshot uh, corrective, you know, and uh, he will use this uh, corrective to load it in a post process animation blueprint. He now opened the post process blueprint. And he will add here a load bone snapshot node. He will use the new load bone snapshot node, uh, which uh, doesn't uh, uh, use as uh, component space. So this uh, is going to be a little bit uh, more performant than the preview node. You can still use the old node. If you have uh, already projects uh, that use it, you can still use that. But uh, this new node, uh, it's uh, better. Now he's copying the expression curve name and he will activate his uh, corrective uh, bone snapshot only when uh, blinks uh, are triggered, right? So he picked the eye blink left correct uh, uh, expression curve and he's triggering his bone snapshot only when 
uh, the, the expression is triggered. And now he's testing it. And uh, you can see there is a small problem there and uh, he's gonna try to fix it. Uh, he pushed the, the eyelids a little bit uh, towards the head and uh, you can see uh, the eye shell, uh, it's very visible, right? He's gonna attempt to fix this. It's uh, gonna be pretty quick. He uh, reloaded the uh, corrective bone snapshot he previously uh, created and he's, uh, he's just uh, correcting it, right? He's doing changes to, uh, to his previous uh, work, right? He's just moving out the eyelids so the eye shell doesn't penetrate them. And uh, I think just more adjustments uh, would be required for this. Okay, now uh, he's uh, gonna save the updated corrective and he will overwrite uh, the existing one. He's uh, replugging uh, re uh, the bone snapshot in the animation blueprint and now he's testing it again. And now you can see you don't have any visual glitch. It works as intended. Don't go with the uh, minus uh, one values or clamp it if you go with uh, that uh, direction. And here we have uh, uh, the right eye as well fixed uh, and the uh, tested uh, in uh, Mesh Morpher and uh, he's gonna test it in uh, Control Rig as well because we need all this to be available in Control Rig, right? So let's uh, let's see the Control Rig and uh, don't forget uh, this uh, this will be part of uh, a Pixel Urge course that he's gonna release pretty soon which will teach us how to create this kind of awesome and unique uh, meta humans from scratch, right? Uh, the eyes uh, work uh, amazing for the this type uh, of uh, character, and now he's testing the blinks in uh, uh, control rig. So I think this is it, guys. Uh, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you find this uh, video useful, and see you around. Bye.